Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah Kodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim, who are out here pushing the gospel which is the good news across the four corners of the earth, globe, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion the face brothers, whose bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, or a so-called Native American. So with that, <clears throat> my name is Karataza. I'm from the GMS camp of Detroit. And, you know, today, the spirit jumped on me. I was just pondering, what are you people going to do? You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, when us prophets that are out here prophesying are not going to be out there on the corners again, man, on these street corners, on the highways and hedges, as we like to call them. What are you going to do? You know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, to the word prophet, to be a prophet, it's not something magical. To prophesy is the word pro means before, emphasize means to speak. So a prophet prophesies. We're out there telling you people what is going to happen according to the Bible, which is you people's book, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans book. We're telling you what's going to happen. We're forewarning you before it happens, man. Okay? And I've seriously been wondering all day. I finally got a, a break at the plantation to uh, put together this uh, short video. What are y'all going to do, man? Y'all, I think y'all going to fucking bug out. When y'all start seeing what we were prophesying about coming to pass, but y'all can't come up to us and say, oh, we're serious. We're ready now. So without further ado, I don't want to uh, ramble too much. I want to get my first scripture, and this is the book of Amos, chapter 8, and I'm going to start at verse 11. And it reads, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So, Khan, the words of the Heavenly Father are all in this book, man. The Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament, which all combines to make up this one book, okay? And these are, that's, these are the words of the Lord. So, continuing on in verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and shall not find it. And why aren't y'all going to be able to find it? Because us Akim, across the four corners of the globe, we're going to be through fishing, Okay. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, had his son, Yahweh Shai, come down here and tell us to be fishers of men, okay? But when we're through fishing, we're gonna that means we're going to be off these uh, highways and hedges, man, okay? And then we're going to be turned into hunters, okay? So let me grab that. This is going to be the book of, I want to say... Damn it, it's either Jeremiah 16. Khan Gan found it on the first try. Uh, the water Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. This is Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks because you two-third Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, y'all going to be hiding 
and also you Edomites. Because, see, when we're out there on the highways and hedges, we're not just telling Jake that they need to get right. We're also condemning all you heathen nations and telling you your judgment, starting with you Edomites on down to you, um, on down to you, um, you know, Moabites, Ishmaelites, all 17 of you heathen nations judgments, okay? So, Khan, uh, let me go. I want to go back into the book of Amos, chapter 8. And I think I left off at verse 12. Khan, in verse 13, this Amos chapter 8, in verse 13, and it reads, In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. So this is literal. You people that walk by and rolled your eyes and scoffed and talked crap to the men of the Lord, y'all are literally going to faint in that day, man. When we're when these prophecies are coming to pass, when this micro, when this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, that's spoken of in Revelations, starting in Revelations um, chapter thirteen and fourteen and several other more chapters. When y'all see that that's implemented, when y'all see that this devil uh, is rushing in like a flood, then y'all going to look for us, man, and we're going to be gone, okay? So with that, I want to get a uh, a couple more precepts. Uh, Khan, uh, Salakia, bear with me, Akim. Uh, I'm looking for... Uh, a precept, but matter of fact, I'm going to just uh, go here. Lord willing, it comes to me. Uh, Khan, Khan, oh, this is your pa. This is your pa. We're going to go to the book of Ezekiel, uh, chapter 3. No, Salakia. Salakia about that. We're going to go to Ezekiel, chapter 2, first. Uh, and starting at verse 3, Khan, and let me highlight this, Akin, because I don't have it uh, highlighted. Khan, this is Ezekiel chapter 2, and starting at verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, you so called Negroes, you so called Latinos, you so called Native Americans. How do we know that this is you? Well, can, I'm going to continue our reading. To a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all the most hard-headed, rebellious people on this earth, man. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day, which means they have broken the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, which means that they have sinned. We have sinned. Verse 4, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Shai power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So, kind. when we're out there on the highways and the byways, uh, with that 12 tribes chart, which was prophesied that we would do the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, okay? That that stick, those two sticks joined together, you ignore us, okay? But it's your blood that's not going to be on our hands. You're not going to be able to say that, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. Like, Jake good for that, okay? Uh, verse 16. I mean, Salakia, verse 6. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou doest dwell among scorpions. The Heavenly Father compared you two-thirds of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, and you confusion of faces to scorpions, man. Okay? Uh, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. 
kind. We're not gonna we man when we out there on the highways and byways, we ain't afraid of you niggas. We ain't afraid of you niggas that that's ready to fight and kill another Jake, but you won't look Esau in this eye. Fuck you. See, I was trying not to cuss, man. Fuck, we ain't afraid of you niggas. You can tear your face up all you want, okay? Verse 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. Yeah, and you Jakes, you two-thirds Negroes out here, Latinos and Native Americans, y'all rebellious, man. Y'all hard-headed, okay? Uh, let me see here. Bear with me, Akim. Bear with me. I'm looking for uh another preset. So kind, kind. Okay, yeah. Now we're gonna go to the next uh Ezekiel chapter three. And I'ma just get a couple precepts, uh, a couple verses before I uh uh close out on this video epistle, okay? So this is Ezekiel chapter 3, and I'm going to just start at verse 7, and we're going to take it down to 10, okay? This is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 7, and it reads, But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Y'all some hard-headed Negroes and some spicks. And some uh, Uncle Tomahawk feather hats, man. Okay? Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be, be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, Receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears. Oh, I'm going to continue on in verse uh, 11. And go, get thee to them of the captivity, unto the children of thy people. Because we're still in captivity, man. Okay? And speak unto them and tell them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, power, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, man. So kind. What are you Negroes going to do uh, when, when we no longer out here on the highways and byways, man? When, what are y'all What y'all going to do? Y'all going to fold that shit up, man. Y'all going to fold up. Y'all going to be crying. Where they at? Where they at? Where the prophets at? They was trying to speak to us. Where the men at GMS at, man? We going to be gone. Because the work is going to be uh, done, man. Okay? And it's going to be time for us to uh, be redeemed by our Savior, Yahweh Shai. All through the power of his father, Yahweh. Okay? Uh, let me see real quick. Okay, yeah, kind of. I'm going to end it with this right here. This is what I was looking for. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is going to be the book of Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 2 and it reads this is what this is what we're going to tell y'all if one of y'all should so happy to see us okay this is the book of jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 2 and it reads and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee whither shall we go forth then thou shalt tell them thus saith the lord yahweh by hashem yahweh shai such as are for death to death and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for captivity to the captivity. So, Khan, we're going to tell you, when y'all run up on us, go die, nigga. Oh, go go get shot by that gun, that sword, nigga. Uh, yeah, go starve to death, nigga, while we eating. While the men of the Lord are eating, Lord willing, I'm one of those men. Oh, and go to the captivity, nigga, 
I'm t- if you I'm t- if you ask me where a safe place to go, I'm gonna give you directions that's gonna lead you right to a FEMA camp, into the captivity, nigga. Since you ain't wanna listen to us when we is out on the highways and the byways, so kind with that, I'm through. Hopefully this video is edifying. Once again, I want to say call Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakak, Hadash, Barakatam, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahushai, and the Holy Spirit, bless you. I once again want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth, who give us Akim across the four corners of the globe, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures all through the power of the Rakak Hadash. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of face brothers. So with that, once again, I want to say a ball, ba ball, and shalom.